Hey, today we're making an easy baked apple pie, and it's going to be the easiest thing you can ever do. Um, here we have a store board already made pie crust. So it comes two in a pack, and you let it sit out for about 15 to 20 minutes so that it comes to room temperature. And here we have five to six peeled and thinly sliced apples. You can use any apples that you like, but usually we tend to pick Golden Delicious, Granny Smith, it's up to you, all of your choice. And here we have a mix. We have about um, three fourths cups of sugar, two tablespoons of all purpose flour, three fourths teaspoon of ground cinnamon, one fourth teaspoon of salt, one eighth teaspoon of ground nutmeg, and one tablespoon of lemon juice. We mix it up really good. And we take our apples and we put it into this mix. Make sure your hands are clean because you're going to have to touch the apples to really get a good mixture going on. So to this mix, dry mix, I'm going to add in my apples that I had already uh, peeled and sliced thinly. And I'm just going to give it a nice mix. As you can see, everything's going to start glazing up in a sense. So you're going to see it all get all over all the apples and you're going to get all that good... Uh, Spices all mixed up really guys. It tastes really good. And it's really easy Yeah, it's, it's really aromatic like you can smell all the spices you can smell the cinnamon Especially the nutmeg the nutmeg really stands out You can always add in an extra pinch of cinnamon if you like cinnamony stuff um, I think I really did do that in this recipe just to the fact that I do like the taste of the cinnamon and it helps out. So instead of putting three fourths, just put a whole uh, teaspoon of um, cinnamon. Just, just don't go crazy on the nutmeg because nutmeg is really potent and it can overpower the, the taste of the cinnamon and you really don't want that. Give it a good mix. As you can see, it looks like it's caramelized on, like it melts it all over. But that's good, that's exactly what you want. Make sure every apple is coated. This is a really quick recipe. You can buy the apples in any store. These apples we actually picked freshly from an apple picking farm. So these are the ones that we're using. And make sure that you preheat your oven to 400 degrees. It's really important you preheat it because you don't want to stick the pie in an oven that's not prepared and ready at 400 degrees. As you can see, everything is nicely coated. There's no more mixture really left. No, you don't see no dry mixture. Everything's nice and combined. So now what we're going to do is we're going to take this mix and we're going to pour it into our pie shell. And we're using a 9 inch pie crust um, baking glass pan. And we're going to make sure that everything is nicely and evenly distributed all around. If you're iffy with touching it with your bare hands, you can always use a non powdered glove to mix and to do all the stuff. But just wash your hands and do it with your hands. Nothing wrong. As you can see, I'm going to evenly distribute everything. It smells awesome already. I'm just going to try to grab as much as I can of the mixture because I love the taste of all these spices. At this time, make sure you wash your hands because you're going to um, work with the other pie crust. So I'm just going to wash my hands and get the other pie crust. And here's a good trick. If you have all these near you, you can make this pie really cheap. There's no need to spend so much money going to a name brand store and wasting so much money. Like this pie crust was like a dollar or something. $1.29 I think it cost me. Not bad at all. Not bad. 
And usually all my spices come from Aldi. Really cheap. And look how big this is compared to other sizes that I've bought in the past. And um, it's up to you though. You can decide, you know, what store you want to go to. But I just go to Aldi. It makes it cheaper. I can always buy extra. So at this point we're going to unroll it really nice and easy. You really want to do it soft and slowly because you really don't want the pie crust to tear because it's e it could easily tear. It's really soft. So we're going to start unrolling it from the top. So we're going to lay it right on top and just start unrolling it right over it. So for the noise in the background, that's what moms do. They got to work with the whole environment. So at this point you can either fold in, depending on your pan, my pan is really large. So unfortunately I wasn't able to get this all over the side. So I really roll under because I you know I have no other choice. So we just I just roll under just to make a seal. And try to get that seal because you don't want the juices to overflow. If it overflows it's okay. I'll go just go right into the pan. But um, I try to get a good seal going. So basically, I'm going to tuck it in to the bottom shell. It's not going to be the prettiest, but it'll be the tastiest. So we'll continue doing that all the way around the whole pie. And then at the end, you just take a fork and just, you know, you can uh, fork it and just try to seal it a bit more. Like I said, it's a little difficult with my uh, baking pipe glassware. If I were to use a different one that was a little bit less bulkier, I could have gotten a different result and I didn't have to tuck it inwards. But I've done it in the past in this pan and it comes out fine doesn't have to be nothing spectacular. I'm not really presenting it to anybody but my family and they're happy with, with you know, with whatever I give them. It's all about the love that's being put into it, not the look of the actual 